Alright, welcome back. And uh, if you guys remember, Ashley was being kidnapped on the last feed. Well, she wasn't really, but she's now. Where are they coming? Um, are they are they with me? No, they're not with me. Oh crap! Oh, freaking I almost shot her. Did I? Oh no! I, I was scared for a minute. I thought I shot her. And this weapon shoots so freaking slowly. It's ridiculous. Like in between shots, they do. Uh, what what's it called? Not. Is that? Not the uh, shots per second, uh, the... Okay, go on then. Path is clear, I believe. Oh the crap, now she can't open, open it. it. And there's more enemies coming. Oh, he has a key, so... I shoot him. She gets... Oh crap. Oh, I, I gave him a headshot. Where is she? Oh. Oh, piss, I shot her. Oh, no. Damn it. That's why I hate this freaking part. The only reason, the only way I can play with her is uh, like when you, you get to select the costumes. If you select the gangster costumes, she's gonna have like a. a so basically, nobody can. Uh, like, she's indestructible, basically. You, you can shoot her, she won't die, and when enemies try to kidnap her she'll basically just crush him so that's the only good thing that I, I can see really coming out of, uh, of of that of that armor and that's the only reason I like to play like when I play with her I always choose that armor costume I, although I don't like the costume in particular in Leon or whatever but um, it, it's an essential to have her she becomes less annoying basically you don't have to. You you don't have to look out for her as much because even if they try to kidnap her, she's too heavy and they'll fall down. And you can just throw bazooka rocket launchers everywhere and and she won't die because she's indestructible. Another thing that I found wrong is there's ten bullets. And there's a bullet count there, but it doesn't say how many bullets left you have. So you have to basically guess, and that's a bit stupid. But um, that's another thing that it's is wrong with this game. I'm gonna skip all this because you guys already seen it. And are they coming from that? I don't even know where they're coming from. Alright. I'll just let them try and kidnap her, then I'll shoot him. I know it's dangerous to do, but. I feel confident enough anyway, so. There we go. Let me reload. I think there's another one coming, but I'm not sure. Um, probably not for the time. Nope. She's moving, so not for the time being. But they will do uh, in a minute from there, mostly. The door's locked. So, uh, I can't open it. Yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna. Yeah, because they're gonna have crossbows as well. All right, so that one is gone. That crossbow one is gone. Can I? Oh crap! Ah, freaking hell! I can't get a good shot. All right, so that's that took me a while, man. That was not nice. All right, the key's down there. Go get it. I don't think there's any more guys. All right, so I did that I one again. I can get out. All right, go on then. What the hell? So that second time was was good. The first time I shot her stupidly because I can't aim very well at this. But but I don't know. The mouse support is weird as hell. And if you haven't guessed already, we play as Ashley, and yeah, she has a small inventory which we cannot use, which so is pretty much useless, and no weapons, no healing, nothing. And even though we do get some ammo and, and some healing items and whatnot, she's still pretty much useless. And uh, I think that's, that's very wrong in the game, and they've kind of sort of fixed it in Resident Evil 5. And they should have dropped it in Resident Evil 6, they should have just made, as we all know, one character, or, or several characters, but one at a time. The only way she'll defend herself is throwing this at enemies, like that, and setting them on fire. And sometimes you have to do it more than once, like he's still alive right now. So you gotta, you gotta do it again, let's crawl under here. So you gotta basically do it again, with whichever... 
whichever new ones. And oh, and yeah, and if you miss, that, that's it. That's gone. So we're basically roasting him. Is he dead now? Yeah, he's dead. At least we get some money. This is why. Uh, oh crap! This is why I always get the NPC to do it because you have to rape the X button and yeah, it, it probably looks easy to you, but it's just like kind of hurts your hands after a while and it's just stupid. All right, so that is that. Is there, a, is there anything else I, I should get from here? I don't think so. So basically, I think I could, if I were to crawl under here, like ooh, like that, I could. Uh, I, I might crawl a little bit more. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, if I were to crawl like that, I reckon I wouldn't have to put this up. But I don't know. Oh, shut up. Can I? Oh, I still got him. Freaking hell. Alright, so he's dead. He's dead. Can I? Yep, I'm gonna have to operate that. and Or maybe this or both. Or can I choose? Is, is it dealer's choice? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna do this one for now. Oh yeah, I gotta do both. Because one opens one gate, the other one opens the other gate. As you guys can see already. So uh, I gotta rip the X button here and then do it there. And uh, open a pathway. Uh, we're not exactly done with Ashley, even though we're gonna pass through this. There's a few more puzzles to do with her. And, you know, her trademark is no attacking like any other little girl. Well, she's not really that little, is she? She's like a teenager or whatever. Uh, like any basically young girl on Resident Evil series, you cannot attack at all. You can only be useless, basically. Like, uh, I think, was it, was it Sherry that she calls? I, I think it was Sherry from uh, Resident Evil 2, I believe. That basically you play with her for several times and she's useless. Cannot, at least like we're, when we're playing with Leon on site A, I believe. You have uh, Ada, which obviously Ada can attack and whatnot, so she's not useless. Uh, there's a round hole in the center, so there's something missing. We cannot use this right now, which we have to go to the other door before we go to, to here. But ultimately, this is where we gotta go. Uh, before I continue on though, let me just do this, which is basically mix up the herbs in case I need them. Although I believe we're gonna get more herbs and healing items as we go through the game. And... Oh, I got a flashlight now. That is cool. Oh, I can push this. Can I push this to this side though? Would it be prudent? I'm not sure. Alright, so this, that's how much... Oh, there's a button there. So if I press this switch, that will open. And I basically have to press switches to open and close doors to go. Oh, yeah, there's more healing items. Alright, so I'm gonna crawl here. Go on then. And there's another button here that if I press, what does it happen? This door opens. And that one closes. So if I were to just press that one on its own, I would be stuck in here, basically. Ooh, stone tablets. I'm not sure what that's for yet, but I guess I will soon. Now the blue door opens, and well, I guess that's that's pretty much it. So if I were to go here and press this again, what what would it do? It would open the red door. I would close that one, but it's okay because I still have the blue one. So, so I've basically have the blue and the red one open, which is exactly the pathway I need to go to here. Can I open this? Oh yeah, there's money in there, pretty much. Um, I can't go through that door, but there is a velvet blue there, so get that before I move. And she pushes doors. So she's less useful, useless when she's uh, being controlled by, obviously, a player, but she's still pretty much useless. She doesn't do anything, any good to anyone. Alright, so this is one of them puzzles that I, I really dislike, and I cannot open that just yet. So basically there's a part missing which I obviously I'm gonna... Um, shouldn't I put the part in first and do that? I, I don't even know. But I hate this kind of puzzles where you have to arrange pieces to make some sense out of them. And I don't particularly like them. Never have, most likely never will. Anyways, this is already a huge ass mess. As you guys can probably see. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to arrange this as best as I can, <laughs> really. So uh, I might do this off camera because this is is this is just too annoying. Um, no, this should go on top. 
and could I just do this maybe? Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing, man. I know, I know this this has to stay there. This goes there and this goes stays where it is, but I don't know where this should go. Oh, this, no, this one should go down there. That would make more sense. So that goes there. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. That goes there, that goes, no, that doesn't go there. What goes there then? I know it's one like that. Is that the one that's missing then? Yeah, I believe that's the one that's missing. So this goes here, and, oh, I see how it is. I got half of it done, sort of. Okay. Um, I see how it is. So this stays there. Crap, this is a huge estimate. Let me just back out of this and try again. I'm gonna end the video in a minute, anyways. Uh, whew, okay, let's see. This is why I hate these puzzles, man. I can never really do them properly. I mean, obviously I can do them, but they just don't, for some odd reason, they don't go that well. Um, no, this this goes there. Like that. And this stays where it is. Even though it, it's going to look a bit messed now. Yep. That goes there, that goes there. Except this should go up there. Hmm. Okay. Aha! I've done it in this video. There's still a piece missing. I know there's a piece missing. Uh, could I use it now? Yep. There we go. And I still finished it in this video. So, <laughs> and that didn't took me as long as I thought it was gonna be. Anyways, see you guys on the next one, though.